Hey guys, today we are going to be going over how to perform some combos in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Now keep in mind this is still the demo version of the game, so the real game is not coming out until well, like 11 or 12 days from me recording this video. Um, but I think for the most part these combos are going to remain stagnant from the demo until the full game comes out. Um, now the first thing I want to quickly talk about is if you click start and you go to your character status here, there are currently three playable characters in the demo, Link, Impa, and Zelda. Now if you wanted like a cheat sheet of combos, you can go into your status, the first tab here, click the A button, that'll bring up a list of like all the different uh, combinations of attacks that you can perform with Link, and then likewise for Impa, and likewise for Zelda. Now the first thing I do want to talk about quickly before we get into the actual combo performance is the fact that you can actually increase the combos that you're able to do by unlocking these like little side area things on the map. Let me see if I can actually pinpoint one, like this one for instance. Um, when you gave Princess Zelda the monster parts, her eyes lit up and she rushed off to continue her work on the Sheikah Stone expansion. You knew, you knew research would uh, proceed smoothly now. So as you can see, the reward is a bonus combo for Zelda. So basically when you click on this symbol on the map, uh, it'll ask you to offer up some materials. And then once you give those materials to this place on the map, it'll increase the amount of combo you're able to perform with that character. So for Zelda, um, I think previously it was only YY and there was no X there. So basically added that X after the second Y there. So she's able to perform a more uh, wide variety of combos once you've done that. So keep your eyes out on the map for those symbols because it'll help you perform a more wide variety of combos. So just to go over the basics of what the combos are in this game and how they work, um, basically Y is your basic attack. And that's what you're going to use to start your combos off more often than not in this game. So as you can see, we have Y. You can press Y up to five times. That's going to be all one combo. Or in, after any amount of times you press Y, you could also weave in X's. And what X's are, are those obviously, it says right there, your strong attacks. So I'm not gonna go over every single one of these combinations, but keep in mind that every single combo is going to be its own unique set of performances by Link here with this sword. So you can go into an enemy, like if you're fighting like a, like a big enemy, like a Moblin or something like that, you more often than not want to go with the YYYYX combo. Well, well, I'll show you guys later, obviously, what it looks like in actual combat. Um, and then every character also does have their unique actions. For Link, obviously right there it says, loose a flurry of arrows, so that's him using his bow. Impa is going to be um, her interactions with symbols, which we'll talk about later. And then for Zelda, her uh, unique action is going to be uh, triggering placed Sheikah runes. So we'll also talk about that later once we talk about Zelda, but I really want to start with Link because he is the most basic character that we have access to. In addition to these regular combos, Link also has access to the Sheikah runes, as well as the other characters as well. We can take a look at Impa. She also has Sheikah runes, same thing as Zelda. Also has Sheikah runes here, and they all have the same Sheikah runes as well, so that's something to keep in mind. So you can access the Sheikah sort of like menu in combat by pressing the R key, and then each um, button, X, Y, A, or B, corresponds to a separate action that we'll see in game in a few minutes. Uh, X being stasis, R plus X being stasis. So basically if an enemy has like a metallic object, you can then, or sorry, that's actually magnesis. So if an enemy, so looking at magnesis, R plus B, we'll go from the bottom up. Um, if an enemy has a metallic object, uh, you can actually take that object. So for an instance, like an ax or a spear that is made of metal, you can take that object from them and like whirl it around and like kill enemies with it. So that's pretty cool. Um, then we have moving up from there, R plus A is cry cry uh, Cryonis. So basically what that is, is it shoots a pillar of ice up from the ground, allowing Link to jump off of it, or any of these characters to jump off of it, and deal damage to the enemy that way. And some other characters, such as um, Impa, they have special interactions with those ice pillars. So every character really does have their own unique ways of interacting with these things. Then we have the remote bomb. That's uh, If you guys saw my rupee farming video, I made heavy use of the remote bomb in that video, and that's a really good way to reduce the shield of those large enemies. So that is R plus Y. And then lastly, we have R plus X, which is stasis. Stasis, basic, if you guys played Breath of the Wild, you guys know what that is. It basically freezes enemies in place for a set of period of time, and then it allows Link or whoever, is, uh, whoever you're controlling to basically attack them repeatedly, and they'll take damage once the stasis actually expires. Um, and that's pretty much it for the basic combos that we have here. Let's go ahead and actually jump into a scenario and we will show you Link's combos firsthand. 
Alright, so here we are in a scenario here, and there's one extra attack I did want to show off before we headed off to fight a large enemy, and that is the shield, like the, I think it's sh called shield surfing? Um, it's when you're running, so if you click the B button, you can dash forward and start running or sprinting. Um, and then once you're sprinting, if you click the X button, you're going to start uh, surfing on your shield like this. Um, I really don't like this attack that much. It is okay, it does okay damage, but I'm on the easy difficulty and my character's max level, level 20. I also have a pretty much maxed out weapon, the best weapon you could possibly get. And it's not even killing these guys in one hit. So if you're looking to sort of like AoE down enemies, it is an okay t uh, tactic if you like go this way one time and then maybe you go back the other way and do it again. Um, it's not really going to kill everything in its way and it's it's cool for like getting around certain enemies, but I wouldn't really use it as a way to farm like a mass group of enemies or AoE, AoE them down. The way that I've actually found is a better way to AoE the, these enemies down as Link is to just do this. You just hold down the X, the X button and just basically AoE them all down using the spin attack like that. And um, most of the time, they're just going to be taken out. So it really, it, it's slower technically than the shield surfing, but I find that getting the guaranteed kills on these enemies with this sla uh, spin attack is just more efficient in farming. So uh, with that, we'll go ahead and move on to fighting a larger enemy so I can showcase some of the single target combos in this game. Okay, so I'm not going to show off every single combo because it's very simple to figure it out on your own, pretty much. But I'm going to show you what I think are probably the best different combinations that you can do when fighting these large enemies, which I feel like is going to be the more difficult part of this game in general. So the first combo that I want to show off is the, um, the YYX combo, which is, I feel like, one of the better shield-breaking combos in the game. So once his, health is a, is a, once his shield is exposed like that, you see how he has that meter right there? We can use different combos to break down that shield and expose him. So one, two, and we do this. That is going to activate the shield riding portion uh, that we just talked about earlier. The shield, I guess, it's called shield surfing. And you saw how fast it broke his shield. Um, that's the, the power of that combo. I feel like if you're going up against a single enemy, a larger enemy, making use of the YYX combo, we can just do it, you know, standalone over here. YYX, and that's going to shield right into the enemy. Because of how fast that actually triggers, um, each attack triggers, so we can just do it on this one enemy over here as well. See how fast it triggers on him? Um, those like very, very rapid ticks of damage are going to rack up on that shield and basically cause the enemy to get exposed and then you can actually end, um, end with an X, which is a uh, weak point slash attack, which is almost always guaranteed to kill the enemy, especially on the lower difficulties in this game. I'm going to just quickly show you why I feel like the spin attack is the best AoE in the game. So let's go ahead and do this. Again, I'm literally just dashing every time I do the spin attack with B. Um, and that's going to take care of these enemies. And a big enemy should spawn here in a second, which means we can show off the other single target combo I wanted to show uh, right here. So what this is, is this is going to be four Ys and then an X. So I'm going to wait for him to expose himself. Looks like he's weak to bombs, which is why the bomb icon was right there. So one, two, three, four. We're going to go like this, and we're going to attack in the air, and then we're going to end with a weak slash. So if you noticed... Link actually did four attacks and then he did a like multiple spin attack thing and so I'll show you over here so it's more easy to see but that was basically it in action. All right so we're going to show off the combo I just did against the enemy but it's in an open space so it's easier for you guys to see what's happening. So we're going to go one, two, three, four and then that spin in the air is the end of that combo. But you can also extend the combo even further because Link can do up to three slashes in the air and end with another X after that. So you can really extend this combo a lot, which is why I feel like it's a great combo to use against a single target because they're obviously most of the time going to be stationary. All right, so we're going to do this combo one more time, but we're also going to add on the extra air attacks to make it even longer and show you guys the full extent of probably what I would consider the, one of the more powerful combos in the game right now. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Do the air attack, one, two, three, and then X to finish it. So that all is one combo right there. It is a very, very devastating combo. Honestly, if you attack enemy, any enemy in the game with that attack, with them, with their shield exposed, they're probably going to get exposed for you to do a weak slash um, on them, which basically means they're just going to die. So uh, probably the most powerful attack that I have, or that I know of with Link. Um, let's go ahead and move on, and we'll demonstrate some of the Sheikah stone techniques here, as, long, as well as the bow. Um, we'll move on to a more wide area with more enemies. All right, so we are fighting another big enemy here, and I do want to show off the ice feature of the Sheikah Stone. So you can see he's weak to ice there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Sheikah Stone. It's going to prompt me to click B, because Link is going to kick off of the Sheikah Stone, and this is going to basically allow Link to start in the air. Uh, we saw earlier a combo that I performed in the air once we did the slashes. This is going to basically let him start there. 
So we'll go ahead and do that here. We'll click R and then we'll click A to do that. We're gonna it's gonna prompt us to do B. I'm floating in the air. We're gonna go ahead and attack him here. And we're gonna end with that. Obviously his uh, shield wasn't exposed, so it didn't do that much damage. Um, but we can do this again here. Do this. B. And do that. That's basically how that works. Um, not really my favorite technique for Link for sure because it's you know it doesn't really have as many uses as I would as I would like it liked it to have. Um, but other characters like Impa and Zelda can make m what, way more use out of that than Link can. So Link's bow and arrow is his unique, uh, basically his unique action, right? All it is is the right shoulder button. You just click this and you can shoot his arrows. So something you can do with the arrows is you can actually hold down the shoulder button and then you could have a better chance to actually aim the arrow instead of just going like this and just having to aim them instantly. Um, I recommend holding it down first and then actually aiming them and then shooting. Something else you can do with the arrows is similar to how in Breath of the Wild when you're in the air, Link will like stop himself in mid-air so he can shoot the bow and arrow. You can do the same thing in this game, um, and I'm going to go off the same combo I showed you earlier, uh, where we, sh we launch Link into the air and then he can just shoot his bow and arrow. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. We're going to do this, one, two, three, and then we're going to start shooting, and we can shoot in mid-air. So that's how that works. So here we are fighting the Guardian, and here's an example of what the shield parry looks like. So right as he hit me, I basically held the L, the L shoulder button and then I clicked uh, Y right as he attacked and it sent it right back at him and he now is incapacitated. So that is an example of how you can use the shield parry. We'll show it one more time here. Right when he turns blue, we're going to hit Y. Right there, we're going to knock it back at him. He's going to be incapacitated and then we can go and attack. So the shield parry can be very, very powerful. All right, and just so I can show you guys what the electric rod can do, I just killed an electric wizrobe and I got some uh, resources for my electric rod, so we'll go ahead and pop out some damage with this thing. So we can go like this. I actually do have the fire rod as well, so we'll, so we'll show both off. So I click A for this, and I can move it to where I want to shoot it, and I can shoot it over here. Let's go like that. There we go. Now they're electrified, and they're pretty much stunned, and they're dead. So that's how that goes. Um, the fire rod pretty much works the same exact way. We can go like this, shoot the fire rod there, and now they're on fire, and they're taking damage and it's gonna to spread to the, the boss. And now he is exposed because when uh, bosses, or not really bosses, but large enemies like this are exposed with the fire rod, they usually um, can have their shields just broken right away, which is very, very powerful. So that's why it does take that extra resource to actually boost those items, but they're very powerful when you can get the right resources to use with them. The other Sheikah Stone functions are the stasis. There is, there we have the bombs, then we have the magnesis. So we'll start with bombs. Bombs are very simple. You literally just throw bombs. That, that's it. That's whole. That's the whole thing. So you, all you do is you click R and then you click and then you click a Y and you start throwing bombs. Bombs are really good against single target like those big enemies because it just directly affects their shield. So that's pretty cool. Um, we can do the stasis next. So stasis is R and then X. Um, we can target these little batch of enemies over here. Let me just get into good position. Actually, we'll go over here. So if you do R then X, you can do that and then we'll attack them, and then look, you see the arrows? That's pointing to where they're going to fly towards. So we've done so much damage to them when they were stunned that they just died immediately. Um, so that's basically what Stasis is. Stasis is also very good against single targets because it lets them, it lets Link just get extra damage in against them, and, and as well as any other character that you're using it with. Um, next we'll do the Magnesis, so we're picking this up, and we're just doing this. We're just hitting all these enemies with, with the, it's not my favorite technique in the game because it's hard to control it. Uh, the character do, that's using it doesn't really spin around as much as he would like, or as fast as he would like. So those are pretty much all the Sheikah Stone functions that we have here. Um, something else that you can do with Link is Link also has access to these other attacks over here. Uh, B is basically just being able to uh, recover your health with food. Um, and then we have Y and A, so we have the electric rod as well as the fire rod. Now, as you can see, we can't actually use those. I'm clicking Y right now, but I can't use it. I'm clicking A right now, but I can't use that either. The way you actually are able to use those items is you need to collect resources for those items first. Uh, otherwise, they're just unusable because you don't have like any resources for them. Uh, but once you kill enemies like the fire whiz robes or the electric whiz robes, they more, more often than not will drop resources for you to use those fire rods and those ele the electric rod. And that is a very, very powerful um, attack because it's basically just an AoE that lights everything on fire or makes everything electrified and uh, just makes it a lot easier for you to clear them out. But uh, that's pretty much all I have for the Link combos. All right, so here we are with Impa. Now, Impa is way different than Link, which is nice because I like characters that have different play styles from each other being in the same game. Um, as you can see, Impa has a different little 
symbol below her A, uh, the, the, the yellow mirror that's flashing A right now. Uh, those are her symbols, and this is a resource that is exclusive to Impa. And uh, what she can do with those symbols is she can create basically clones of herself um, that will perform mirrored actions that Impa performs. So let's say you go with a Y combo. Those mirrors will also perform a, a Y attack at the same time. So um, those, like this character is really centered around making sure that you're utilizing those symbols to the best of your ability. And the way that you actually do those, uh, get those symbols is we take a look at her thing. Her unique action is apply a symbol to an enemy in front of you. And once you apply a symbol to an enemy, you can use X to then absorb that symbol. Uh, and then uh, basically it, it becomes a part of that, that uh, bar that we see below the yellow meter. So let's go ahead and basically do this. We can absorb the symbol. And as you can see, we do have these blue clones surrounding Impa now, which are going to act as one symbol. We can have up to three of those active at one time, which basically means that you can basically have up to six other shadow clones attacking at the same time as you, which is going to make this character extremely powerful. I think at, uh, one, she has all of the symbols active, all three symbols. She's probably the most powerful character in this game, um, at least in the demo. So there's a lot of things you can do with that. We can apply symbols here. We can absorb symbols. Um, and then once you absorb symbols, that is also going to alter other attacks that you have as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, probably one of the more uh, complicated characters in this game. So now we have all symbols. Um, each symbol is going to determine what your special ability looks like. So if I, if I click A right now, this is exclusive to having all symbols active. And it's going to basically stack together a tower of, like I guess, explosive barrels. And it's probably the most powerful attack in the game as of right now. Um, if you don't have all the symbols and you click that A button when you have the bar all the way filled up, it's going to be a different animation. It's not going to be as good. Something else to note about Impa 2 is that she does have different functionality in her Sheikah runes than Link. Like, for instance, Link would just toss bombs in front of him. Impa does not do that. She has like a different animation where she basically uh, conjures them from some kind of like whirlpool thing and it goes up into the air. So it is a different functionality, which is okay. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of that. And then also, she does also have, let me just find some more enemies real quick. She does also have um, the Cryosis as well, which is the freezing um, Sheikah Stone. So we go ahead and click this, um, and then we click X. We can ride on top of it, and this is acting very similar to uh, Link's uh, Shield Surfing. So again, I'm not a huge fan of Link's Shield Surfing, and likewise, I'm not a huge fan of that functionality of the Cryosis for, for Impa. So I wouldn't really recommend people do that, but it is it does do slightly more damage than Link's Shield Surfing does. So uh, you, you can use that if you want to just get through like a huge pile of enemies of just like blocking a path or something like that. So like if these enemies, you just think these enemies are annoying, you can just go like this. <laughs> just like mow them over. Um, and then she also does have a, a different um, Magnesis animation as well in functionality. So we go ahead and pop the Magnesis here. We will go ahead and click B. We basically are going to just take all of the uh, enemy's weapons and she's going to automatically attack them with the weapons. So that is a much better function of Magnesis in my opinion than Lynx is. So I feel like for Impa, if you're going to use the Sheikah runes, I would much rather she use Magnesis and um, the stasis is pretty much exactly the same. The only difference between Impa's uh, stasis and Link's stasis is that it does actually show an attack button. So like that X attack thing pops up, which doesn't pop up for Link. I don't know why. I don't know if there's any difference with that, but it does make it easier, I guess, for her to use that. So I guess her Magnesis is better as well as her um, stasis are both better than Link's, but I much rather prefer Link's bombs and I much rather prefer um, Link's um, Cryosis as well. Something else that you can do with her unique uh, unique action is actually, uh, so first of all, what I like to do with her is um, her YX combo makes it really easy for her to just go into the air very fast. So if you do YX, she's instantly going to launch herself into the air. Then you can do your, your unique action with your symbols, and it stops time. You can shoot this at the enemy, and it instantly ports you there, and it'll kill the enemy almost every single time. So we'll, let's do that one more time on an enemy that's actually alive. Let me see if I can find one. So we'll go over here. We're going to do YX, we're going to jump into the air, we're going to perform our, uni our unique action. We're going to kill this guy right here. It's going to attach a symbol to the enemy, and then we're going to kill him, and we're going to absorb the symbol at the same time. So you can actually do that to travel distances as well, because it teleports to the enemy that you attach the symbol to as well. Um, and then in addition to that, um, 
like I just talked about earlier, she is probably the easiest character in the game to actually get into the air. So you can actually use this as a mobility effect as well. Like you can just do this and just fly around like this. This is probably a faster way of traveling than just running. Um, so yeah, like for instance, just attack this guy right here, and then we instantly get a symbol there. Very, very easy. All right, and before we wrap up with Impa, I do want to show her versus one of these single target enemies with basically full power. So I'll, he's not even exposed. I'm just attacking him regularly. Look how much damage we're doing. Like, look at the shield go down. <laughs> he's dead. Like, that was... Once you get her symbols all the way built up, like, there's almost nothing that can stand in your way because you just do so much damage. You do so many attacks within a short period of time that the shield that the enemy has is just going to get depleted almost instantaneously. And it just makes Impa probably, I would consider her probably the best um, character in the game right now in this demo. So Zelda is an interesting character. Zelda is really only playable in one scenario in the demo, which is in the second main story stage. Um, and she is pretty much the closest character to a traditional mage that we have in the game right now. Um, she doesn't really do any physical attacks. Most of her attacks are, are magic in nature. She basically uses the Sheikah runes to perform all of her damage. And uh, we can see their basic Y combo. Let's move back a bit so we don't aggro any enemies. Uh, we can just go like this. That's her Y combo. It's literally just using the Sheikah runes to do all that stuff. So we're using Magnesis. Then we're using Stasis. And then we're finally ending with um, uh, another Magnesis at the end there. See? I'm also, we're also using Cryosis in there too. So uh, her X combo is literally just creating these. So you might be wondering why is this here? Well, her, her unique action actually blows them up. And most of her kit is based around the fact that she can blow up all the objects that she creates with the Sheikah runes. So if we go X, X, she actually creates some stairs. You go up the stairs like this, and then you can actually start um, flying off of there too. So she is another character, and we can just de detonate all these right now. Uh, she's another character that actually does make use of the um, the mid-air combos pretty well. So we have another character that's very easy to do this. And then like in the mid-air, you can do a bunch of different things, like drop bombs like this, um, and other things like that. Let's do that one more time and show you what else she can do. And we can do multiple attacks in the air. We can do this. We can do icicles raining from the ceiling. Or from the sky, we can do bombs. Um, and we'll take a look at her Sheikah Rune uh, menu in a second. But she has a very unique bomb one. So we set the bomb one here. And the bomb is actually going to be controlled by the player. So you can do this. You can like move it around and stuff. Uh, if you quit controlling the bomb like this, it's going to blow up. Um, so I think definitely one of the more unique attacks in the entire game. We'll show it one more time over here. So bomb, we're going to control it. We're going to just move it into this uh, mob of uh, enemies. We're going to quit controlling it, and then we can detonate it with ZR. And it's going to blow up all the bombs that it laid along the way, and basically just blow up everything up. So her cryosis is also kind of similar to her other abilities, where um, she's basically going to be able to see, once, once you click the ability, it'll spawn. And you can move this thing around, and it's, you're going to be able to place icicles down. Those are going to stay there, and you can detonate them with ZR again. So again, everything is dependent upon her uh, unique action, which is detonating things that she generates. So actually attacking an enemy here, let's go over here. Let's go ahead and use the Cryosis. Let's drop a bunch of icicles over here. And then we'll go detonate them like that. It's going to kill the enemies pretty much instantaneously. Um, and again, we can do a bunch of different things with her. We can do this. That's going to kill the enemies around her. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Let's see if we can just drop a bomb over here. So if we do this, we drop a bomb. It's going to explode, detonate, do a lot of damage to people. Um, in terms of her actual basic attacks, it's nothing too crazy. If you take a look at... Oh, we actually have a flurry rush here. Um, so we can probably just kill this guy with a... Uh, yeah, we got him. We'll kill him with a weak point slash here. The animation's pretty cool. Uh, taking a look at her actual combo list, it is definitely the least uh, complicated. She only has three sets of combos that she can do. Um, but because of that, her other attacks like the the uh, Sheikah, um, the, the Sheikah uh, runes that we just showed are very powerful. So like the Magnesis as well, we can take a look at that here. So she doesn't actually need... Um, she doesn't actually need a metallic object around her because she can generate it by herself. So... Again, there's nothing around me that's metallic. I'm going over here. Go like this. She just generates one from the ground. And then when you want to throw it, you click ZR again. Everything links back to that. And then she just throws it. So that is her Magnesis. And then in terms of her Stasis, 
it also is a little bit different as well because she has a much larger area and she can just click this to activate it as well. So uh, her unique or her uh, special action, unique action is just basically this, this entire character's kit. See that? I mean, it didn't do that much damage because we didn't kill them right away, but I think she still has a lot of room to grow. By the way, my Zelda is only level five. Um, and I believe right now in the demo, she doesn't really have that many good weapons to use. I believe the best base weapon for her is 12 damage, whereas for Link and Impa, it's both 18. So that tells you how much you're actually able to use Zelda here. But other than that, that's pretty much her, her entire kit. Again, this is the only stage where you can actually use her. So I'm just trying to get as much content as I can from her from this one stage. Um, so like one, two... She has a bomb that she can use with the YYX combo, then she can just detonate it whenever she wants again with her unique action. So a lot of bomb stuff, a lot of like detonating uh, like this stuff, like we talked about earlier. So again, I think she is one of the more magey type of characters where she doesn't actually like punch or kick anybody or use a weapon. It's all the Shikarun stuff, it's all spells, it's all magic uh, related. So uh, that is pretty much going to wrap up this video. Zelda, I feel like, is an interesting character. And the reason why I really like this game so far is the fact that Impa, Link, and Zelda all feel very, very different from each other. Uh, they did a really good job of designing the moves that these characters have. And I'm really excited and interested to see what other characters they're going to implement into the game and what their, what their move set and combos are going to look like as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I will see you all in the next one.